Okay, this is the first of two videos that we're going to deal with the muscles of the arm. The first video is going to be on the muscles of the upper arm, and the second video will be on the muscles of the forearm. And just to make sure that we are oriented, and I'll try to remind you as we go what the orientation is, this is the proximal end of the, of the arm. This is the distal end of the arm. This is the dorsal side of the arm. And when we turn it over, this is the ventral side of the arm. So let's start in on our muscles of the upper arm. Okay. Oh, and I left this one off. Let me, let me put it on for a minute. This muscle right here on the shoulder, this, it's a big muscle. See how big it is? Sorry, sorry I left it off. This muscle right here is the deltoid muscle. The deltoid muscle right on the shoulder. Sorry I left that off, but I'm going to, you, you can keep that straight. That's the deltoid muscle. I'm going to pull the deltoid muscle off so we can see the muscles underneath. This is the scapular spine, so these, these three muscles that I'm going to show you right now are the three muscles of the, the three of the four muscles of the rotator cuff muscles. And we're going to be looking at those in terms later on of their origin, their insertion, and their action. So this, this right here would be the supraspinatus muscle because it's what above the scapular spine you remember the scapular spine this would be called the infraspinatus muscle okay infraspinatus because it's below the scapular spine and this muscle right here the smaller muscle over here would be called the teres minor so those are three of the four muscles of the rotator cuff. Let's review them. Here's the scapular spine. Above it would be the supraspinatus. Below it would be the infraspinatus. And down here the teres minor muscle. Now let me turn it over to show you the anterior side. This is going to be the uh, front of the scapula. And so this is the subscapularis muscle. It's the fourth muscle of the rotator cuffs. So let's count them again. Number one, what? The supraspinatus. Number two, the infraspinatus. Number three, the teres minor. And on the anterior side, the subscapularis. Those are the four muscles of the rotator cuff. Okay, now. The fourth muscle that I want to show you back here in the dorsal aspect is this one right here. That's the teres major. That's the teres major. Okay. So on the back we got supraspinatus, scapular spine, infraspinatus, teres minor, teres major. Okay. And so those are the, the muscles that attach to the scapula. Okay, now, the next muscle we want to look at is a muscle that we're all familiar with. And now we're going to look on the, uh, again, this is kind of like in between the dorsal and the ventral, but it's mostly ventral. This two-headed muscle right here, okay, it's got one, two heads. That ought to be a giveaway on what muscle that is. That's the biceps brachii. Again, we're going to, and its antagonist is down on the underneath side of the arm, and that would be the triceps brachii. The tri triceps brachii. See, biceps brachii on the top half. Let's see that again. See, there's, uh, there's two, two heads to it. You can tell that. And then that's on the top side. And on the bottom side of the arm is the antagonist, the triceps brachii. Okay. So, let's see. One more muscle that I wanted to show you 
Yes, that's this muscle right here. It's right next to the the biceps brachii is here, and as we go ventral to it, this mu this little skinny muscle here. Let's see if you can see it. This little skinny muscle is the coracobrachialis muscle, and the reason why I want you to know it is. It, it attaches to the coracoid process of the scapula, and you know where that is. So let, let's review what we know now. Okay, just one more, more time. It always helps to go over stuff. This would be, let me put this back on. This muscle, when it's back on, right on the shoulder, that's not quite where it goes. Now it's there. That That's called the what? That's called the deltoid muscle right on the shoulder we take that off we look at the posterior side of the scapula and we see what the supraspinatus the scapular spine the infraspinatus the teres minor the teres minor and then down here oh, I'm sorry they got confused the teres, teres minor and then the teres major the subscapularis on the ventral side. Then the big two-headed muscle, the biceps brachii. We'll be looking at that in terms of origin, insertion, and action. And then underneath, that, that causes flexion of the arm. And then the extension of the arm, the antagonist is back here on this side, which is the triceps brachii triceps brachii and then one more muscle the last muscle if you look at the biceps brachii right here and go one muscle in this direction you'll see the brachialis muscle brachialis muscle so those are the muscles of the upper arm and I hope this work with the model helps you a little bit